Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. What's up, YouTube? This morning we're headed over to Goodnight's Comedy Club again to replace a compressor on a 2011 Carrier 5 ton. 13 seer unit put in uh, partially by me and the company I was working for at the time. The um, compressor would not start at the time that I checked it. It did not show continuity between the terminals and ground. And I don't remember off the top of my head what the uh, continuity on the compressor was at that point. But um, we're going to take a look at it. Maybe shoot a little video with the 770-3 testometer and uh, change that compressor and then start it back up again. So stay tuned and we'll see you in a okay, second. But we're going to start off with a quick check acid test. Basically you just take your little test tube and you depress the Schrader on the device. And if you've got acid in the system, it'll change color. I'm going to try the other side since we didn't get any indication on that side. It does not appear that we've got any acid in the system. Uh, that was six dollars and fifty cents wasted if you want to call it that I'm going to tear the unit down a little bit and we'll get to checking the compressor terminals and whatnot we've got the test leads on the two wires that go to the contactor and we are reading 0.82 ohms we'll switch it over to the capacitor and one of those leads we got 1.64 point88. So that kind of adds up actually. We're going to take each one to ground. Just use a liquid line as ground. We got 1.94 on black to ground. One point eight nine yellow to ground. and 2.76 on the capacitor to ground. We got a tone between capacitor and ground for continuity. We got a tone for black to ground. and a tone from yellow to ground. So she's grounded. We're gonna go ahead and set up to recover and we'll uh, check in with you in a minute. Well, that was exciting. I went to hook up my Appion G5 Twin. Was using a cheater like I've used so many times and uh, next thing I know, the compressor starts running on the recovery machine. The um, compressor stops, the compressor starts, the compressor stops, and then I hear a pop and smoke blows out. Um, so 
I'm running over to Johnstone Supply up off of Six Forks in Raleigh to uh, grab another recovery machine. Definitely a little bit drastic to replace a whole cut recovery machine, but I need one and the um, the Johnstone does not uh, carry fuses. So I double checked uh, my cheater. I don't know, line one or line two, one of them. Um, the one I had originally hooked up to was putting out like 142 volts. And the other leg put out 122 volts. So the only thing I can figure is that the G5 twin did not like 140 volt um, inlet power. Um, so that puts a little bit of a wrench in my uh, timing for this job because I wasn't expecting to have the extra drive time to get a new recovery machine. Um, anyway, as soon as I get back over there, we'll get back to it. Working 16 hours every day Ain't got no more sweat to give Oh, it ain't so easy these days Just trying to get on by
Joe Shearer would probably have fun with this one. This return box is actually a triangle because we couldn't get um, enough plenum on there to make it a square with all this other crap coming through that corner. So we build it as a triangle to get a collar in there and go straight to the return. There's a 20 by 30 return grill on the other side of this wall and um, it is running very nice as far as static is concerned. Um, we jump over here to the manometer we've got a 0.54 total static unit calls for a 15 degree subcool and we're pretty much running right on target for everything we do have a little bit of overcooling which is not necessarily a huge issue we got a 17 degree split and the target is 15 degrees 14.9 that estimated airflow is coming out to right at 17 to 1800 on a 5 ton unit so all in all I can't complain systems running nicely doing a good job cooling calculated capacity is almost five and a half tons so thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one don't forget you can use coupon code RARVID and get ten dollars off your purchase at truetechtools.com or the coupon code RARIDVM for ten dollars off your IDVM 510 meter Thanks to the 100 Watt Vipers for allowing me to use their music also. You can search for my Facebook group at HVAC with Stephen Reardon or follow me on Twitter at Juvenile77. Thanks for watching. One man, your heart is healthy.